Who are you? I'm Brian Gregan. And what's your sport? I'm athletics. I did a 400 metres. Where do you live? I'm Talif. What's your club called? Uh, Clonliff Harriers. Favourite football team? Man United. Favourite colour? Red. And favourite food? Um, bacon, I guess. Kind of, some kind of ending with bacon in it. <laughs> My sport is the 400 metres in athletics. It's the, the longest of the, the three sprint events. Um, I picked it really because I wasn't very good at hurdling, um, but I was quick over the flat and I hated cross country, so it was kind of a bit of a nice mix between um, events. I like to kind of break it down to four segments, 400 meter segments. So the first part of the race is the first 100 meters, which involves you starting, coming out of starting blocks. So the idea to that is, is to have a good reaction to, to the gun and getting out well and kind of like the first 50 meters are setting you up for the rest, the other 350 meters. So it's get out hard, but not, you know, get out too hard. The second 200 meter segment then is when really you're running your fastest, but you need to keep relaxed so you don't go too fast through 200 meters and then, you know, you'd be tired for the last part. The, the third part is when a lot of people um, press or push on, so they try to pick it up around the bend and, uh, and really set up your position for the home straight and, and which everyone usually kind of lines up. Um, and the last 100 metres is just hold on for dear life. Your, your legs are full of lactic. You're, you're nearly stumbling down the home straight, but you're just trying to, you're trying to hold your form together. And, and you, know, you can make up a lot of time on that if you can keep your form and put it under people under pressure. I'm quite lucky at the moment that I am I'm linked in with the Irish Institute of Sport, so I do a lot of work out there. I have my um, strength conditioning coach, John Cleary, who supervises my weight sessions twice a week out in Santry or either in the gym in the Institute of Sport. I have my physio, Sarah Jane MacDonald, and also Emma Galvin, who works for Lex Ireland when I'm away on trips. So they really look after me well. I work with Sarah Jane all year round. Um, and I'd see her you know, at least once a week just for kind of maintenance stuff. And if anything is wrong, I, I would see her more than, you know, it could be three times a week. Um, so I'm, I'm very lucky to have a good communication system with them as well. So if there's ever kind of any injuries or anything, they know straight away. Um, then I have my coach, John Coughlin, who I've just recently moved to this year. Um, so I've kind of changed my training around a bit and work more on my technique. So I see him every day um, and we do a lot of work on our technique and, and just trying to get stronger and more efficient. For me, my biggest success was the European Under-23 Championships when I won a silver medal. Um, the, the previous championships were in 2009 and I'd actually tore my hamstring in the, the first 50 metres, so I was pretty good. And so I kind of set myself the goal of getting to the final and, and winning the medal for the, the, the next championships. Um, I only had one more shot at these championships because I was 21 at the time. But I kind of just said, listen, I'm going I'm to do this. And I think I was ranked eight going into the final. And uh, I managed to come out second ahead of, I split the two British athletes um, who won for, uh, first and second. And it was only 0 0.02 of a second between myself and the gold medal winner. Um, to put that in context, point takes you 0 0.3 of a second to blink. So that's uh, pretty close. Um, my key goal for me is I've got you know, a couple of goals set out. So for obviously, I want to make a European final in Zurich. And then the, the big one for me is not just to qualify for Rio, but it's I want to make the final in Rio. So it's a big, big goal, but, you know, I've, I've set about it. it. You know, I've got a new coach this year. I've, I've upped my training by eight hours a week this year. Um, so I'm, I'm slowly but surely stay, stay, taking steps into, into you know, world-class territory. With, you know, I'm looking at these guys and I don't think anyone's better than me. So, you know, if I get the right training and the right recovery, I, I think I can go on and make my Olympic final. Well, I'm, I'm one of the very few fortunate people that can have it. My dream job is to be an athlete, is to be a professional sports person. So, you know, I kind of wake up with a smile every morning and I'm fortunate enough to, to have that. And I, and I know how grateful I am to, to be in the position that I am. This is like, I don't think I can see myself sitting in an office nine to five. So, you know, I'm lucky enough to, to get up out of bed and, and go to the track and see that as my, as my office. So, that kind of motivates me and then obviously to, to push myself as, as hard as I can and, and, and to win medals in the future, I guess.